In this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate Hasura GraphQL engine's auth with an existing project's auth. As an existing project, I'm going to use GitLab, which I've already hosted on DigitalOcean. So I have GitLab hosted here. I've signed up as a user and I've created a private project. I've also deployed Hasura GraphQL engine that is set to track all the tables that GitLab has created and GitLab uses, and I can use them over GraphQL. For example, if I make a query from Graphical to fetch the projects, the ID, the name, and the creator, I can fetch all of this data. So I can fetch the private project created by user ID 2, a private project and a public project created by user ID 3, private project by the user ID 4. And because I'm using the access key, I have full access to all of the data. Let's set up certain access control rules to restrict the data that is returned. On the projects table, I'm going to add permissions for a role called anonymous, which denotes that requests are coming in from users that are not logged in. And the permissions that I'll set for that are that the visibility level is equal to 20. This is how GitLab denotes that a project is public. Just because I'm trying this out, I would like users to be able to access all columns. As soon as I've added this, I can head to the graphical and try out. And now if I make this query, I can only fetch the public project because there's only one public project by user ID 3. Let's now create an access control rule for a logged in user. I'm going to call this role user. The access control rule for a logged in user are two conditions. One, if the project is public, which means the visibility ID is 20, or if the user is actually the owner of a project as well. So in this case, I'm going to start this off with an or condition and set visibility level equal to 20. And if the creator ID is equal to the user ID, I'm going to allow this user to access all columns. And now let's try this out. Let's set the user ID to two. And you can see that this user can now fetch a private project that is created by user ID two and the public project as well. Let's try this out with three. Let's try this out with another random user, which is 10. That can only fetch the public project because user ID 10 does not have any private projects. Now that I've set up the access control rules, let's see how this GraphQL API would actually work with an app. To do this, we configure Hasura to use a webhook. This is the webhook that I'm going to set up that the Hasura GraphQL engine is going to use whenever apps make GraphQL API requests to it. As you can see, this takes a cookie as a header or a cookie header, and then returns the xhasura role value and xhasura user ID value, which are dynamic variables. Let's take this for a spin. I'm going to copy the cookie that I have from GitLab. And let's remove the access key here and remove the role headers here so that we're not testing this out anymore. And let's set this header to this particular value. Now I'm logged in as user ID two. And so this denotes X Hasura role user and X Hasura user ID two. If I make this request, you can see that I'm fetching data that belongs to user ID two and public data. If I remove this particular cookie, this request should now be going in as an anonymous user, which means that I should only receive public projects. And here you see that you can only fetch public projects. So this is a simple example of how you can use Hasura GraphQL engine along with an existing project and an existing app and add GraphQL and access control rules to it. 